Hi everyone, my name is Nicole and welcome to the Weeks Nest DIY. So in today's video, I have 10 brand new Valentine's Day crafts for you. And these are great even if you don't like Valentine's. I went with a very subtle theme for these and I also went with stuff that was more kind of sentimental and even can be used year round. Also today's video is a collab with my good friend Kristen K. We like to do like 10 brand new DIYs each at the beginning of every season. It's kind of become a tradition for us. So I'll be sure to have her video down in the description box below. You probably all know her already and if you don't, you're missing out. So definitely check her out. She is one of my favorites. So I hope you enjoy this video and let's get into it. Okay, hey, our first Valentine's DIY is going to be this topiary that's actually a little trinket or ring tray. For this project, you're going to need three of these conversation heart MDF signs from Dollar Tree. And the middle one, I am going to spray paint in this pretty light pink matte spray paint. Now for the other two hearts, I'm using the same printable, which will be in the description box below, that I used in my last video where I made this cute mail or coupon organizer using one of the Valentine's envelope signs. So once I cut that out, I just went ahead and attached it to the two hearts. And then taking this piece of scrap wood from the Dollar Tree Crafter Square section, I am going to hot glue this and kind of act as a base for our topiary, having the pink heart in the middle and then on the very top, the third heart. Now for this to have some more stability and what is going to make it our trinket tray, I took this Michaels, I think it was like 90 cents or 99 cents little wood square sign and I'm going to hot glue the bottom of that scrap wood from Dollar Tree right in the middle and then I'm going to add a crafter square wood cube just to add a little bit more stability to this piece and I did add another printable that I made to this which will also be in the description box below or you can always email me if you have issues with my printables and I love this saying grow old with me the best is yet to be so that is what I added on the pink heart and I absolutely love this if you're not new to my channel you know that I love making things that are functional and pretty so I thought this is a great way to decorate for Valentine's Day or even just have this in your room year-round put your rings or earrings or spare change on it and it's a decorative a functional piece so let me know down in the comments what you think about this our next Valentine's Day DIY, we're going to make this a cute sign. So for this, I'm picking up this heart wood crafter square section picture frame. Now this is in the Dollar Tree year round. We're just going to pop out the insert and then for this, I wanted to add a border. So I'm going to use some small pop-up stickers from the Dollar Tree. And what I like about these ones is that they're all in a strip and they're really easy to take one off if you need or kind of bend it around the frame. So I'm going to outline the frame of this before I paint as well as the border of the heart in the middle. I asked in my last video if you guys want to see a Dollar Tree crafting must-haves video and a lot of you said yes so I will be working on that but these stickers, pop-up stickers, really any Dollar Tree sticker are one of my absolute must-haves. So let me know down in the comment what is a must-have that you love at the Dollar Tree because these are definitely a tried and true item for me. They come in different sizes, but these small ones I definitely like because they make it so easy to add to different signs or whatever you're working on. So once all the stickers are on, taking some Waverly chalk paint and white, I'm going to paint over everything. Now I'm going to take my time and make sure that I get on, or not on, in between. There we go these stickers and then also on the border. And then once that's dry, I'm gonna take this brown craft paint from Arteza. Really any paint will do, even a nice linen would look nice. And I'm gonna carefully dry brush 
just to highlight all of those stickers we put on just to give it a little bit more dimension. And then I also went around the border once I added the paint onto the stickers and I just highlighted that a bit also just to kind of give it a little bit more warmth. So like I said, I tried to make these projects not super like in your face Valentine's Day. So the printable that we're going to put in this says we have a love story better than Jack and Sally, Tommy and Grace, Jim and Pam. Now let me know if you are a fan of any of the shows or movie that are mentioned in this printable. I love The Nightmare Before Christmas. I'm super into Peaky Blinders, my husband and I, and we love The Office. So I decided to be fun to just kind of do a play on our favorite shows or movie that we watch together. So I thought this was cute and it's also a piece that can be left out year round. So let me know in the comments. If you have a favorite couple from a TV show or movie, what would you add to this printable instead of what I added? I always like to know what people's favorite movie couples are. This really isn't like a project, but I just figured I'd throw this in since I had it styled with that picture. I love this piece. I picked it up from Dollar Tree. I did not like the shiny or glittery heart on it. So I just twisted that off and then I went ahead and painted the MDF border with some white paint just to make it look more like the Scrabble pieces it's supposed to. And that's just a little bonus I wanted to throw in there because I styled it with that um, sign that I just showed you and I love the way this looks for a little Valentine's Day vignette. Our next two projects are perfect for Valentine's Day, but can also be left out year round. So I got this love piece of decor a while ago, honestly, I think during the fall. So I'm going to spray paint that once I took the little wreath off with that same matte pink spray paint. And then I left the hot glue on instead of scraping it off since I am just going to add more hot glue over it and add these half wood beads. I have these in the description box below. They're from Amazon. I used them in my last video and I've used them a lot on my channel. I love them and I feel like it gives a nice neutral kind of boho pop, which I was going for with this project. And again, I was going more for subtle that can also be used year round. Now, the other part of this is a printable, which is also in the description box. I love the simplicity of this. So I just went ahead and framed this printable in an eight by 10 white frame picture frame. And then since this love decor piece has a little ledge on it, I just rested the picture frame right on top of that. And I love the simplicity of this. I think sometimes less is more. So let me know what you think about this combo. This will definitely be in my room year round. So now for a fun and functional project. So taking this wood heart from the Dollar Tree, I'm going to take some macrame cord from Amazon. This is a, I think, three millimeter, three, it's a three, whatever the weight requirements are for cord, it's a thinner one. We'll go with that, but it's in the description box below. I'm just going to take a lot of hot glue and just highlight and wrap around this cord all throughout the inner part of this wood heart. And this is what's going to make the kind of base for our coaster. So you're gonna wanna take your time with this and add hot glue as you go in little sections, making sure that you have no wood showing through and that everything is lined up. So this took me a little bit of time, but it goes by fast, especially once you get to the center where there's less that you have to cover. It does go by a lot quicker. Once all the cord is on, I'm going to add this heart lace. This is new to my Dollar Tree this year. I have not seen this before other years for Valentine's Day. Um, I love this. It adds a little bit of kind of like a boho shabby chic vibe. So we're just going to add this to the border of our coaster and that is it. Now, if I'm being completely honest, I had every intention of making like four or six of these, but this did take a bit of time, but I think 
it would be a great set or even just one like this if you just want something cute, kind of Valentine's Day and fancy for your coffee mug. This is a cute project to do just that. Another ridiculously easy idea with that lace, I thought it would be a nice subtle way to just take some of it and add it to something you already have in your home. So this is a vase from Ikea. I spray painted like a couple videos ago last year and I'm just going to cut a piece of this lace, tie it around for a nice subtle pop. And again, this is something that you can have year round or you can just kind of have in your home and have a subtle pop of Valentine's Day. I am loving these envelope signs from the Dollar Tree this year. It has a little heart insert. So I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to make some printables. I have one that says date night ideas and what I love about you. And I thought this would just be cute, kind of like a, I guess, interactive project. I like doing bucket lists in different ways and stuff like that, where you can just kind of personalize it to your family. So like I said, date night ideas and what I love about you. It's just a cute way to maybe come up with some, like it says, date night ideas or like a little note to your spouse or to your kids, your loved one, whoever. I think this is super cute as is and a great opportunity for a printable, which I love making. For our next project, I'm going to use this leftover wood heart ornament from the Target dollar spot I got around Christmas time. And I'm just going to take some alphabet letter, well yeah, it's redundant, alphabet is letters, letter beads, there we go. Um, just spelling out I love you in the middle. I just kind of like that it reminds me of like a Scrabble game. So once I have that on there, a little bit of hot glue, not too much so it doesn't kind of poke through, I'm going to add some wood beads. Now I picked up these really pretty pink kind of neutral color wood beads from Hobby Lobby. So that's what I'm going to use for this really easy wood bead garland. So taking some of that pink macrame cord that we used for our coaster, I attached it to a tassel and then I'm just going to string the beads on. Now you can certainly use unfinished beads and you can paint them or leave them as is, but I got this for like $4 when it was on sale at Hobby Lobby. It came with like 50 beads and these are super cute, a great size and great for this Valentine's Day project. So once I have enough beads on, I'm just going to string this back through the ornament and this is a great way to use ornaments that you may have in your craft stash or Dollar Tree always has a lot of like heart wood cutout ornaments you can use. Lots of different options but I love the kind of rustic wood with a pop of pink and of course a tassel because I love tassels. Other thing I love making are wreath inserts. So I wanted to use those beads again, the lace kind of build on the projects I've been doing in this video and I'm gonna add them to this wood heart. So for this, I'm gonna first string some beads in kind of like a random pattern and then I'm also gonna add some macrame cord to this, layer with some lace to kind of give it a very like subtle, boho romantic vibe. The nice thing about using things like beads or macrame cord or yarn. You could really customize it to be whatever color palette you want. So I encourage you to do that. Macrame cord, I cut about 18 pieces or probably about mm, 12 or 15 inches long. And then I just strung them on a kind of anchor cord um, using a lark's head knot. And then once I have them on there, I'm going to attach this to the heart with some hot glue.
Once the macrame cord is secure, I'm gonna cut a piece of this really pretty yarn, and not yarn, lace trim, there we go. And I'm gonna layer that on top. I feel like it definitely gives a boho look, and I'm just really, really liking this heart lace trim. Um, I definitely feel like this could be something that's incorporated in like year round decor. And then we're just gonna layer on those beads. And this is perfect on its own, but like I said, I always like adding a little sign to a wreath. It really dresses it up and it's a really easy, budget-friendly way to just kind of switch up your decor for the seasons without having to go crazy. Last project is using this other heart frame from the crafter square section at Dollar Tree. This is always, or I have always see this year round. And I'm gonna add some peel and stick shiplap paper from the Dollar Tree. Now, of course, you can use scrapbook paper. You can stain this, paint this, whatever you want, but I'm just going to line this up. Also make sure that you trace the heart in the middle and then you're going to cut that so that everything can peel and stick right on this frame. I love the peel and stick wallpaper pieces from Dollar Tree. I wish they were a little bit bigger, but I mean, they're a dollar, well, a dollar 25. Let me know if your Dollar Tree's gone up to a dollar 25 because mine has and yeah, mixed feelings on it, but I'll still be shopping there. So anyway, I like the wallpaper. Um, I cut out the heart carefully. You don't want to overcut because then you'll see the wood underneath. And then the great thing about peel and stick is no Mod Podge, no spray adhesive. You can just apply it as is. Now I did add a printable to this, which I attached to the side that has more of the shiplap. And there you go. I absolutely love how simple this was. And I could definitely keep this out again year round. I hope you enjoyed these 10 brand new Dollar Tree Valentine's Day DIYs. I hope you got some inspiration and even have some ideas how to transition this decor from Valentine's Day or even year round. So if you're not already subscribed, I definitely invite you to do so and turn on that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. Don't forget to check out Kristen's video. I will have it down in the description box below as well as all of the printables that I mentioned in this video. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all. I hope you all are doing well and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.